I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved The toss off the line, but I just let it float away Yeah, I let it float away I let it float away I let it float away Float away, float away Previously on Sailing Zutara. We have traveled over 1,100 miles in the last 60 days from the coast of Florida all the way down to the British Virgin Islands. And we've learned so many remarkable things so far about sailing and about each other. And together, while customizing and fixing up our boat and making it our own, we created a home. We've, we've laughed and we've, we've struggled and we've already had some extraordinary experiences. We've gained a new confidence in ourselves and each other. And although our goal is circumnavigation, even if we don't make it all the way around the globe, we've already created some unbelievable memories that will certainly last a lifetime. So we should be able to uh, be in good shape there. Uh, we'll see how it is once we clear the cape here at Virgin Gorda. Sell down and I get my sewing machine out and we'll sew it up good. Sew it up. Because you're the seamstress. I'm the sail maker. You're the seamstress. I'm Larry the cable guy. You're gonna make me a dress. Make me I'm a I'm gonna make you an undress. Oh. Have you ever seen an undress? <laughs> I'm an expert at making undress. PG. 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 We got He's that. big. He's big boy. He is big. Yeah. There you go. Hold on. A little more, a little more. It's coming down now. We got a couple of jars. Okay, that's that. it. Uh, that, that didn't make him calm down. Made him mad. Just... Woo. So mean. <laughs> Holy cow, that's huge. Go tell Lana to come look at this fish. And I can't read it. My eyes aren't good. Uh, there we go. It's uh, uh, oh, 17, 17, is that pounds? Yeah. Holy cow, 17 pounds. Wow, would this be considered a, a science lab? We're dissecting a fish, studying a fish. We're frustrating. Yeah. Not only are we dissecting it, but we're going to eat it. Yeah. The best kind of science lab. Yeah. Eating your own experiment. <laughs> Takes three people to deal with this big old guy. And it's a, it's a female. Yeah, it's a big old girl. She had babies. Yeah. It... Ooh. We have some nice. Fresh. My, my, yeah, man. 
us a ride. So we just pulled into St. Martin. Well, we pulled into St. Martin at 2 a.m. Anchored in a little bay here. Slept off our crossing hangover. And now we wake up to all these big, huge boats. Crazy looking boats. Look at that guy standing next to that sail. Think about when that thing gets wow. to go. Wow, wow. No. I would like to keep coming up without yeah. cleaning the bottom of the boat. <laughs> That's what you can do, Finn, when you get older, to make money. You make millions. You can be a crew on a really big yacht like that. So if you notice the red bucket, the previous video, I'll go back and show it to you. It was right over here. It contains all of our masks and snorkels. And this morning we woke up to a nasty, fishy smelling red bucket with fish guts. All of our masks and snorkels. Because we're not real smart. We're not real smart. My name's Horse Gump. Uh, so yeah, I gotta clean all these masks and I think I've washed them twice now. And snorkels, we'll see. If I can get them clean enough to where we can wear them and put a snorkel in our mouth and not taste like we're eating fish. Yeah, look at these amazing ships out here. This is the Stad Amsterdam and seems to be straight out of a fairy tale. We dinghied over and asked to take a quick peek at the beautiful vessel. Yeah, so that's you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm basically Oh, yeah, I'm Wes. Nice Wes? to meet you. Renee. Renee. Nice to meet you, Wes. Yeah, okay, I thought you remember Jack, Anna, Jack, Kate, and Finn. And, uh, Kate, Kate, and Sam. Finn. 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 Nice yes. to meet you, Finn. <laughs> so, where are you guys from? We're from exactly. Montana. Dallas, Texas. Montana? Nice. In the US, but we're full time cruisers now. Yeah, yeah, just from everywhere now. Yeah. <laughs> It turns out the Clipper Stodd only looks antique. She's a charter boat built in 2000 and has 21st century technology but echoes the romance of the 19th century. We were kindly given a brief tour of the nearly 250 foot luxury ship. Upper deck with its immaculate teak and woodwork made Keith salivate. Even though we'd swore off the expensive marinas, we'd ended up staying a few days in Simpson Bay Marina on the Dutch side in St. Martin. We had to get several things fixed on the boat and we were told this was the place to get it done. We got a lot of things accomplished while in St. Martin. Um, I cut the boys' hair, and no, I'm not a hairstylist, but it's not that hard. And we, of course, did school and played some games. And I used my cherished bread maker. But one of my favorite ways to pass the time is listening to Keith play beautiful music. The only two things in life that make it worth living. It's time we, we got, got back, back to the basics of love. Let's go to look at my texts, wailing with the end This successful life for living's got a student like the happy than core. Well, after three days of washing and scrubbing with toothpaste and soap, they finally smell better. We can use our snorkels without sucking in fish guts. Yay! All right, so what do you got? 
today we're marinating the Mahi Mahi Dorado. I like them Dorado. And we got this recipe from Deer Meat for Dinner on their website. They were marinating lobster and it looked really good. So I just decided to use that same recipe on, uh, on uh, fish and it is excellent. Day. All right, so I checked all my fish. I, I don't have any bones in it. I got all the rib bones out. And uh, so now we're just going to take these Ziploc bags and we're going to throw a bunch of fish in here. Remember, we start, I used to rinse everything in fresh water, but the lady was right. I can't remember who told me that, but it's better to uh, use good, clean salt water. And these fish I skinned instead of peeling the skin off. I, I used a knife and, 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 peel, and cut it off. And they say it's supposed to take the, make it taste even better. And I've been peeling the skin off. And I don't know. We'll see how that works. I wonder if I can do it all in one bag. I think I can. No, I think you should do two separate bags just so it'll get fully marinated. All the pieces will get soaked. All right. So, so that's a lot of fish. Animal. That was a big fish. All right. So what we use is roasted red pepper, Kraft, Italian, sweet, and rustic. That is the stuff. So I'm going to just squirt that in there. Get it all in there. We're going to need a little more of that. We're going to have to buy some more of this. I hope they have it here mm -hmm. in St. Martin. Okay. Probably enough of that. Then I'm going to take some olive oil. There's no... I just put some in there. No measurement. No measurement. Just so it looks good. And then we bought this stuff. Part of that was when we was in Fort Lauderdale. We bought this... Uh, Renee bought this Everglades seasoning. All purpose. That's what we use. But, and then I just take a bunch of this in here. It's delicious. Make sure the back zips up before you do this. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, we used Everglades seasoning. This is the important stuff. Roasted red pepper Italian, sweet and rustic, craft. And then just any olive oil. There you go. Well, here's the fish. Let's check it out. Oh. No, that's all right. I just need the light. Looks good. Good oh, flaky steaks flaky. falling apart. Yum. Well, that's it. Well, they're coming to yeah. With the finished product. Mm -hmm. Coach. Mm. Yeah, why don't they that is flaky. Over? Delicious. Hot and yeah. good. Mm -hmm. yeah, why don't they come over? Hi, uh, we are, I forgot where we are, well, I'm just, we didn't do a lot today, well, we went shopping, oh yeah, we, um, I don't know, it might have been two days ago, we went to three spots in one day, it was really busy day. We went back one spot so we could get groceries and stuff. And there are these cruise ships, and then there was some other stuff. And we went to the baths, which was awesome. Sailing is awesome. Even if I say it's not awesome, I still think it is, because whenever I'm mad, I just can't. I hope you all like Kate's video log. I think that's what it's called. Bye <laughs> bye. So we finally got our boat hauled out on the hard to get the fiberglass repairs done on the bow thruster. Also did the bottom job and wax job, fixed the zinks, which we'll document in the next video. We stayed on the boat for a couple of nights on the hard and uh, having to get out of the boat, walk over to the bathrooms and uh, back and take showers and, and the facilities there they haven't got them up to speed yet because they I think they just acquired that yard so it was kind of a tough situation for us and all our kids so we decided to rent a small house up in the French side in Orient Bay and uh, stay there while the repairs were being finished. This is our little French villa that I rented on home away. Hotels were about three or four hundred dollars a night per room. And since we always have to get two rooms, I did not want to spend six hundred dollars a night. And I was able to negotiate this price for this adorable little French villa on the French side in St. Martin. And everything is in French, but that's okay. 
We're learning, learning some French. Parlez-vous français? Look at this cute little backyard. And this awesome clean pool. Beautiful gardens and palm trees. And another issue we've come across are French outlets are different than our um, English outlets or American outlets or whatever you want to call it. So we went to the little store up the street and they sell these little adapters so I can plug my 110 stuff into these little odd looking French outlets. These beautiful little French doors, get it, French doors. <laughs> French bread. French bread. We're gonna have some French bread, some French coffee, some French fries. <laughs> what are you doing this morning? Uh, I am shopping online for swimsuits. Because we have great Wi-Fi. My swimsuits are kind of getting tattered and ratty and torn. And I don't know where I'll have them shipped to because we're leaving here in a few days. Um, but I'm gonna have them shipped to somebody in the States and then she'll ship them to us when we get to somewhere else, Las Rocas or Curacao or somewhere. So I have a new swimsuit. Oh, because I'm kind of particular about my swimsuits. Only like one kind of swimsuit from one place and I can, yeah, I'm just weird like that. What are you doing, Fennanator? Get ready to defeat Skeletron Prime. Okay. Um, my geometry dash. They're watching French. They're learning French from TV. Waikiki Beach is just a five minute walk from our little rent house. And apparently there's a nude section of the beach a few hundred yards down, but we didn't venture down there. Or at least us girls didn't. French bakery. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Kate is different than my other girls in that she loves fashion and shopping like me and is very, very girly. Oh yeah. Love it. Me and Kate went shopping. And she so has my heart <laughs> in the palm of her little nine year old hand. So our whole plan was to continue all the way down the islands and all the way around to Grenada and then shoot over to Las Rocas and then hop, skip and jump around the Panama Canal to change the map. But now, as soon as we leave here, as soon as we leave here, where it's just St. Martin, Martin, we're going to go down around Nick. We're going to go whoop. straight down to Las Rocas. Oh. Should be about three days. Be a nice whoop. big 400 mile passage. So it'll be the biggest passage we've made. It should be a beam reach, which would be good. And then we'll spend some time in Las Rocas, Venezuela, and then we'll jump over to Wilmstad, Curacao. And fix anything that needs to be fixed, double check everything, wait for a weather window. And then from there, we'll make it one straight shot down to, uh, down, to the Panama, down to the San Blas Islands. And that's just off the map here? Yes. Before you get to Panama. Yep. And I have a, I have a bigger, better map, a whole world map. There won't be quite as much detail. So the hardest things, the hardest things for me on this journey so far, and this is just so far, is not getting frustrated with my family. I get back in the states, back on land, running companies, doing things. I like things done a certain way. I like them to get done. And I'm very, I have a high standard and I can kind of be a jerk sometimes. A lot of times I can be a jerk. And I don't mean to be a jerk. I just want, I just, I have, I have a short fuse. So the hardest thing for me has been to, and, I, and I'm doing it now. I tone it down. I don't get mad anymore. And the other thing I do is I, I give encouragement more. More encouragement to my kids, more encouragement to my wife. My wife is my partner out here. And, you know, she does the homeschooling, and she cooks, she cleans, she makes sure the 
the, the kids are doing what they need to be on the homeschooling. She's always done a great job of that ever since I was little. She's taken that on. I don't have nothing to do with that. Couldn't do it if I wanted to. I'd have to write a check and get somebody to do it for me because I just couldn't do that. She makes great videos. She does all the video production. So I'm the director, producer. She's doing the editing and I'm supervising. So what you see is really my vision coming out through her. One thing that we have to have on the boat, we have to have it. I can leave <laughs> the world behind, but what I cannot leave behind, Dr. Pepper. We must have Dr. Pepper. <laughs> For those of you who have never enjoyed a Dr. Pepper, you haven't lived life. So, it's just what the doctor ordered. Get you a Dr. Pepper, pop the top, and know that the dude or Sparky, whatever you want to call me, is enjoying a cold one with you. It's our drug of choice. It's our drug of choice. We love them after scuba diving. They're refreshing. Okay. They're very nice. Okay, Dr. Pepper's them. not paying us to do okay. this. Join us next time as we get the repairs complete on the boat and learn more about the Pacific Ocean Crossing and first aid.